Hello, welcome back to Blackjack. As you can see, I no longer, uh, I still don't have internet at home. I am at work. I am in the volunteer lounge, which... Got a pot of plants, got a chair and a couch, we got snacks. Anyway... I have to hurry. Uh, this is like a 20 minute video and I have to, <laughs> my shift starts at 15. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to it. They did a preview of this with their funny voices. Yeah. Yeah. The music is there. Aaron, That's good. And, uh, we're there, we'll do the music and just phenomenal job. But yeah, sound, voices not there right now. So Sounds let's good. just go ahead and play it. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah no, I'm ready. Well, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay, Eagle. Is this where you sit in porn? Yeah. Well, I have shelves of porn behind me, but you can't have it. This is the... Yeah, porn! Oh, that's bad porn. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite porn. Uh-huh. I'm gonna <laughs> fight you! Do you guys ever oh, no. see that building oh, review oh, oh, oh. where someone yeah, was cosplaying Naruto and they said it that the first one looked exactly like kunai, so they were easy to carry around? Suck book! No! That's my Suck favorite book. porn! I know they said the first one was my favorite, that's my other favorite! <laughs> yeah, you wanna leave here? Yeah, you wanna leave here? We're gonna have to give that porn back. We're gonna make it really hot in here. I don't know what's happening. I'm stuck to the floor. What is this shit? It's chocolate mixed with you don't want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Wait, that's my attack. Uh, you can't use my attack. <laughs> that's my attack. Oh, crap. Where'd he go? They're showing a lot in this preview, my god. I love this. I'm old! Yep. Yes, you are. So, uh, I'm gonna go get the actual battle up here. And... This Grammarly. Uh, no, I don't care about using Grammarly. Come on. So... Everyone in the comments, people with more Naruto knowledge than I do, which is pretty much everyone, um, has said that this is... Roshi's basically going to curb stomp. Your team writes too many emails to what? No, stop Grammarly it. Business. You know what would be no. a pretty memorable holiday present? The gift of genetic discovery. Yeah, whatever. DNA I don't kits care. Are on sale from now until December 25th. I don't care. What's it's a happening? service that can provide insight into your ancestry, health, wellness... What? I want this. this. You know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present? Yeah. The gift of genetic discovery. Yeah, Can whatever. Me DNA kits over in the UK. I never blah, 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 blah. Okay. The finest warriors are never developed on their own. While some are simply molded by their enemies, the best usually seek the wisdom of a master. Who, for yeah. some reason, is a weird old pervert like Roshi, Hurdle Hermit, and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. And Jiraiya, the Toad Sage and instructor and he to the most famous growing. ninja of all. People on the Instagram are boomstick. They act like he's and a joke. Stop, like... uh, stop, stop, stop. Poor needles. Goku is, without a doubt, one of the greatest martial arts champions of all time. Well, yeah, he's good enough to rival gods, become a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra Instinct. But he never would have achieved I know I don't actually know what I can think of. I've never seen Super. He's so powerful, there's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, two things, really, if you get what I mean. I know your game, old man, and I don't want to play. He is in poor base to force. When he was a hip young and him up. studied under the legendary <laughs> Master Potato, Mutaita. And a kitty cat. These masters of ass whooping taught Roshi how to weaponize his own life energy. Aerobic exercise key. video. Similar to many you know, real life Chinese martial arts, he is a vital energy all living beings possess. 
The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your key becomes. Just realize Rushi can it's use like his key view. to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of it's awesome techniques. He can fire explosive awesome shots, go buff mode, stun foes with thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. Nice. It wasn't long until Roshi refined these techniques and created Guys his own to be 16 style. there. I call Pearl bullshit. School. Okay, here's my question. Why are there hardly any Dragon Master? I mean, there's Legend of the Drunken Master, the movie, and there's Bo Raicho from Mortal Kombat, and that's about all I can think of. I feel like there should be more. Mountain, plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple tools, and being chased by both sharks and bees, all while wearing and a shell. shell. Roshi's martial art focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way, except for one. Oh yes, I found out that it's Despite not Lanny Pator doing his voice this time. Point, flight is actually a technique developed by his rivals, the Crane School. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, yep. even after centuries of experience. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed, or the mysterious paradise herb, he's just shy of 360 years old. Damn! I'm just impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. Boomstick, that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess, medically speaking, it is quite impressive. Where can I get me some of this paradise grass? <laughs> I don't want to be chasing tail for centuries. Uh -huh. with that. But with all of those his years sister's a powerful his talents, source, Roshi so dedicated be... 50 of them to developing She's one revolutionary technique. Me. Me. Oh, come on, you're not even going to do a little Dan style? Anyway. Ah! Anyway, to be honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain with it. This peak was inspired by the... Hang on. ...life flaming mountains in China. Right. Full screen. 50 years. Okay. Standing up to 2,600 feet tall. With this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly four gigatons of TNT. But that small stuff compared to the time he obliterated the entire moon in about five seconds, that's gotta be worth, what, like 10, 20 mountains? Wait, how many mountains make a moon? Well, more like 35 billion. To obliterate the moon in its entirety, the Kamehameha must have struck it with a force that can't do three octillion tons of TNT. That's, uh, 27 zeros, by the way. Nice. Holy shit, Roshi's also super fast. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point-blank range. That gun looks like a British that stand, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute Did at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. That means Roshi Turtle would have Island. to react to the first bullet within 5 milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. He's dog paddling. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about 3 feet, which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second That's in order to catch them all. Oh, uh, my hands can move that fast. I'd finally stop getting married. <laughs> This speed is far from his limit, but Roshi's true talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Sadly, Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just how powerful he really is. And using too much key energy can cause all sorts of problems, like yeah. when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Earth. 
He's tough enough to take down dozens of Frieza's soldiers and survived a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. He even took a barrage of death rays like a champ. The same move that killed Vegeta many, many years ago. And in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Roshi is shown to be so collected in battle, his movements sort of emulate those of Ultra Inst- the Super Manga is a different continuity than the Super Anime, which is the canon sequel to Dragon Ball Manga. Using this to violate the fourth rule of death battle. Okay. Um, no, I do not want the menu options up here. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man will never stop training. Makes sense. Among the now there was something in the, the preview for this village, one that I have questions quite as about. Impressive as Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, I know that's crazy, cause you know, but not just anyone can fight aliens on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch. Naruto would become the Hidden <laughs> Leaf's greatest champion and seventh Hokage, but this would never have been possible without his training under the dynamic Toad Sage and legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. Gallant, huh? Hey, Wiz, why do the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird pervs? Uh, well, don't let his uh, crude demeanor fool. <laughs> oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. Nothing surprises me anymore. What the f? <laughs> uh, um, anyway, Jiraiya originally learned the Shinobi way from the third Hokage taught him how to use his chakra to do ninja magic. Similar to Ki, chakra is a form of life energy. Alcohol, in right? Hindu and, and Buddhist really? theologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body which can be embraced to achieve enlightenment. Nice. However, in the world of Naruto, chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques called jutsus. Gesundheit. Thank you. Yeah. Like most ninja, Jiraiya learned about four types of jutsus. Yeah. Taijutsu, awesome. or hand-to-hand -hand combat, Ninjutsu, harnessing chakra as elemental weapons and tools, Genjutsu, which covers illusion and mental manipulation, and Senjutsu, a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. Jiraiya mastered as many styles as he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks out there, the Rasengan. With this, he gathers his chakra into a spinning orb of death, modeled off the ultra-destructive Pale Beast Bomb. And that thing can wipe Sounds out a good. whole village all at once. Modeled and on the weird F. side, he can sharpen his twisted sister mane into a shield like a porcupine and fire the hairs out like a needle gun. Needle Jizo in the mischievous mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the invisibility jutsu, uh -huh. which you'd think would be perfect for stealth or assassination. There's no documented evidence that he's using his ability in combat. He absolutely should be able to move like others have. Missions, but he actually developed it specifically for... Uh... Research? Research? Research. Where else is a self-respecting writer supposed to get his, uh, inspiration from? Clearly, Jiraiya sometimes took his tinkering a bit too far. On one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. All right, sir. Jutsu isn't just like another name for crack. After befriending the toads, Jiraiya <laughs> trained under the sage Fukasaku, where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques like the toad oil bullet and flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered yep. a pact with the toads, learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. Not even As a his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful toads were perfect allies. He could trap his foe inside a toad's throat, transform them into toads for interrogation, or even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest group you've ever seen, Gamabunta! I am the wise and powerful Lord Gamabunta, the chief toad! Okay, well, there's something in the preview. So I'm going to conclude the chakra. Jiraiya has excellent chakra control and can always bring more energy to himself through Senjutsu. Well, it seems he could outlast Roshi. But anyway, though, the thing I wanted to bring up was something in the preview. I didn't hear it this time, if possible. I just didn't hear it. Um, they brought up that he can control natural energy, and I want to know if key energy falls under that. And through Fukasaku's teachings, Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new, mighty form called Sage Mode. 
Well, it takes a long time to get into. Sage Boat Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable How long? martial arts frog Kata and a deadly genjutsu. Sage Art Goemon. Oh, yeah, for a guy who got boiled well, alive. Weird, yeah. So why don't we just call it your f jutsu? Because if you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high five, leaving your physical body totally open to a swift kill. Sage Mode also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities. Turning his normal Rasengan into the unstoppable Big Ball Rasengan, which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain smasher. Jirai is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja around, like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are fast enough to intercept lightning. The leader of a lightning bolt moves Ooh. around 220,000 miles per hour, putting ninja like Jiraiya around speeds of Mach 280. Now I get why ninja are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than a hundred times faster than bullets? bullets While Jiraiya isn't exactly the strongest or fastest ninja around, he's certainly one of the most clever. Over time, he rose to become a legendary ninja and hero of his people, hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And he's a gutsy one. Like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band, Pain, before they tore his arm off, crushed his throat, and impaled him five times. But even while suffering excruciating agony, Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know, I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. Yeah. As you can see, you fail. Jiraiya the Toad Sage falls victim to no woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me. <laughs> when you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness. Okay. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. Eight minutes. But first, if you're as hungry oh. as I am for this fight, this you part. may be interested in Blue Apron. By now, you've. Pro okay. So I'm gonna go with Roshi, but it's. Seems it's gonna be really close. Ooh, this star is really close by. I don't know why. Who's this geezer? Hey, fuzz for brains. Where are the pictures? It's just words in here. <laughs> pictures? You fool! Words paint a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves! <laughs> <laughs> Did he write it? Hey, don't take it personally. Not like you wrote the damn thing. Yes, he did. <laughs> hey, I missed it. What is where she did? Oh, this is so You're stuck now, Baldy. <laughs> As he points at his own name. Oh, that's the digestive part, huh? Alright. I don't think it would be anything like that. Blorp. It's a same thing for money over to Sonic. Oh yeah, there we go. Interesting. Oh, is that his house in the background? Play, 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 play. Cool, cool. Oh, yep, that was his house. That shop is very close by. Taking this. He's standing on the water. Jiraiya, you buffoon. What's this yeah. about? Hey there! Can you buy me some time? What? I'm not your servant. I'm yeah. the chief Get. He's left at his whole house. My love. <laughs> Outside help. He's a quick one. Ooh, ceiling. 
There's the rice cooker of destiny. Doesn't doing that kill? I guess that depends on the power of the Only opponent. Others do their fighting for them. And it's evil contained with rape. That creature just seems to have no idea. I don't know, I've just from what I've seen. The the whole time. Team struggles! He can turn invisible. Huh? Whoa, fool. I can't believe you fell for that. It's not over. Let's end this. It's not over. Yep, let's end this. Bye. <laughs> you talk about a whole new way to win. Jiraiya was certainly one of the most powerful warriors of his own world, but there's no question that Roshi's sheer might outclassed him. One yeah. guy can break a mountain, the other can break a moon. <laughs> so that was pretty obvious. Yeah. The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear cut though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. Yeah, he did hold his own in the tournament of power against Planet and Galaxy Buster. Okay. Oh, While Roshi regularly drains his own energy, Jiraiya can draw more from the of Senjutsu. However, the instability of stage mode and Roshi's enormous power make it unlikely Jiraiya's track reserves can reliably surpass Roshi's. Oh, in Goku's training Sounds right after Gorin, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own mm. training didn't stop after chasing the kitty <laughs> yeah. around. It was and quite a good thing. Neither did his. Yeah. Chasing. So, scaled to Goku's <laughs> progress, it makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed hey, I'm and that. probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to believe Jiraiya could use his... Jiraiya has some moves which could possibly defeat Roshi instantly, such as his turning into a frog technique. But I suppose he's referring to between require special circumstances and or are too ill to find a base into your victory route. Roshi's speed and cleverness can also counter many of these techniques. Interesting. Though... Uh, so for Roshi, it just used the moon destructing key from the beginning. Tactical talent to help Gordon outlast Roshi. Except Roshi's a smart fighter too. Not only does he have way more experience thanks to his super age, yeah. but he's got an eye for traps in sticky situations, like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter, Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Given the nice. moon's distance of over 200,000 miles from the surface of the Earth, this means the beam must have traveled has, over 57 the million miles per hour, more than 260 times faster than lightning. There was, no there was no way Jiraiya could avoid so Roshi's perfect. trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, now but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And that's why Strong. Jiraiya croaked when yeah. Roshi beat him to the punch. The winner is Master Roshi. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to see some exclusive okay. commentary, make sure to click the box right over there. And if you want the battle music from this episode, you can download it by clicking the little... Okay, so next is their season finale, right? And they said it's one of the most anticipated bat or the most requested. So I'm gonna go guess that that it's Thanos versus Darkseid. Oh. Yep, Thanos versus Darkseid. That sounds cool. Well, I mean, it went down basically like I said. Um, it's eight after, so I've got to get to work. It's funny, my shift actually starts at 2.30, but we're not expected to show up at the desk until 3, so... Okay, I gotta hurry. I will love this. Fortunately, you know, we have internet all over the place, so fortunately I will be able to do this. Uh, I'll see you later. Hopefully I'll have internet next time. Like I said last time. <laughs>